Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Tepe with Bright Star Chiropractic. Today I want to talk to you about how chiropractic helps you with stress. So stress is a great thing that our body does in response to like acute situations or you know we want to deal with something right away. But the problem is for a lot of us stress just goes on and on. Our body's constantly maintaining the stress response which we'll talk about in a minute. And that leads to a lot of health problems that we're seeing today like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, being overweight. Um, there's a great book called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers and that's basically the bottom line. A zebra responds to the threat runs away and then right away they calm back down. But unfortunately we humans have a much harder time doing that. So there's different causes to why we have stress. Um, I'm going to focus today on like movement problem but also bad sleep which is pretty much super prevalent in America. People are not getting enough sleep. Diet, 60% of most Americans Diets come from gas station food, stuff that's highly processed with refined oils and sugar, makes us sick. Uh, well, most of us don't move enough. And psycho-emotional stressors, I mean, that's kind of like day-to-day -day stuff. A lot of us are dealing with that as well. So, the stress response, here are the things that happens. So initially our nervous system responds, and then our hormonal system starts kicking in, so we get like cortisol and catecholamines, those are stress hormones. Um, what they're doing is helping elevate our heart rate because our body's preparing to fight, run, or freeze. Our blood pressure increases, our cholesterol increases. How many people are taking medications for these? A lot. Um, breakdown of muscle and connective tissue when your stress response is ongoing. How much money do people spend on anti-aging stuff? I mean, plastic surgery. Why not start off with these five simple things and save yourself some money so you can stay young longer? Uh, fear, anxiety, depression. Depression's huge, man. A lot of people are dealing with depression. Short term memory loss, difficulties with focus, learning as a result of chronic stress. That is also a lot of people in this day and age changes in our immune function. So it starts pushing our immune system to be more reactive, like so that where we can see more allergies, autoimmune problems. Uh, everything's gonna seem more painful. Stuff that shouldn't be painful does feel painful. And then we have less of the hormones that help our body grow and like stay young, going back to the aging thing. So yes, a movement problem like parts of your body that don't move right, certain joints that don't move right, that's a stressor for your body. Especially when you combine it with all these other things. So let's talk about how doing an adjustment helps with that. Okay, so we've talked about the causes of stress. And so like I said, I wanted to focus on movement problem, stuff, parts of the joints and stuff that don't move right. So that's where I do an adjustment and like if it's a baby it's going to be very gentle like checking tomato to see if it's ripe and this adjustment by helping to restore motion what it's doing is increasing what they call mechanoreceptive input that's basically like when you're moving uh, the joints the information that they're sending to your brain when they move the right way how they're supposed to that makes your brain happy. That tells your brain, hey, things are okay out there. This is safe. So, as I do the adjustment, your brain's getting these signals and it starts to like decrease that stress response. So like uh, cortisol, like those stress hormones start to go down. They've done some research on that. Uh, blood pressure, they've also done a study on that where an upper neck adjustment, lowered blood pressure more than two medications did. Um, you know, by controlling your stress response, it can help over time to lower your cholesterol. It can help that breakdown of muscle and connective tissue that makes us look old. 
So by moving and getting adjusted, it helps keep us younger. Also, patients report to me all the time that their, their focus afterwards and their brain clarity and their mood improves with getting their body to move better by getting adjusted. This has been my experience and la that of many of my colleagues that people who get adjusted, especially the ones that do it on a regular basis to make sure that they're always taking, addressing any movement problems that come up, that their immune system responds better. So if they do get sick, it's less time. Uh, they don't get as sick as they normally would. Yeah, it just responds more appropriately in the way that we want it to. Also, when you're moving better, you're not gonna be causing that inflammation that can lead to pain. So we're not gonna have pain. And also by decreasing cortisol and like these stress hormones, then these other hormones that help growth, like growth hormone for men it's testosterone, for women estrogen progesterone, all that stuff that helps us stay young, uh, our body's able to produce more of that because it's not perceiving threat and problems that it has to deal with, but it looks at the environment as being safe because their body's moving. Now, of course, you gotta do these other things as well. And um, you gotta make sure that you're sleeping, you gotta make sure that you're eating well. But this is a big problem that, a movement problem, most people are walking around with it and it may or may not cause pain so it's important to get it taken care of because you don't want to be here all the time. You want to be here most of the time and then, you know, if something comes up, then we deal with it and then get back to there. So I'm Dr. Michael Terry with Bright Star Chiropractic. Yes, chiropractic will help you deal with stress.